Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Walter Emmanuel Jones, also known as Zach. The original Black Ranger. Hey, what's going on, guys? All right, so today we're going to talk about how hip hop keto got started. That's a martial arts form that's not really existed except for in the Power Rangers, created by the man himself, Walter Emmanuel Jones, who played Zachary Taylor. That was the Black Ranger on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The way it started is interesting. It started with the auditioning process. So when they were looking for someone to play the character Zach, they were looking for someone that could create this form of martial arts hip-hop keto somebody wrote it down and it sound witty hip-hop keto that'd be cool and then they needed somebody that could bring it to fruition the audition process kind of went like this I did the acting part then they said okay so can you do any dancing and I was like, yeah so I did some hip-hop dancing you know broke out some moves like it was funking it up they're like that's great All right so can you do any martial arts so I was like yeah I like to say, yeah, yeah. So I did some martial arts, I did a kata. I learned when I was a kid, you know, like did some some stuff with some kicks and some punches. And then I said, um, well, can you do any um, gymnastics? It's a small room. It's not like I could just break out with a whole bunch of flips and run and start jumping off the desk. I could have done that, but I didn't. I could have done it though. Did a backflip, boom, knocked it out. She said, that's great. Now, can you put it all together? Now that's where I was through for a loop. Put it all together? Okay, so you want me to create this smash of these skills right now in this audition? Um, huh. Get in your improvisational space and let's make it happen. So I started, like I started a kata, boom. Did some kicks and punches. Threw in a break dancing move, it's a swipe where my legs kick in the air, made that into a kick. Thought, yeah, that looks like very kick light. Did that, did some stuff on the floor, maybe a sweep, came up, did a spinning back kick, and then came up and did a backflip, landed it, and then bowed out. They went, that was great. Can you come again tomorrow? So that's the way it started. It was like I had to come up with this concept of how to put all these three things together and make it into some kind of martial art form. After I booked the job, we had a trainer on the show that was our stunt coordinator. He was working with all of us with our kicks and front rows and back rows, like basic stage combat kind of stuff that you would learn for television or for the screen. That was helpful because although as a martial artist, I needed to clean up some things. There were things I didn't know, like when you do a kick on camera, you can't just do uh, a kick and like just like throw the leg out. You actually have to elongate the leg to make it look pretty. And when you throw a punch, you can't just throw a punch from here. You have to throw a punch from there. You have to make it big so it can be seen. Now, when we got to the fighting, it would say in the script, the Power Rangers get into a fight with the putties, right? So now our stunt coordinator would come in and he would work with, you know, Austin and Amy Joe and David and Twee on their fights. So, you know, we're gonna have a putty here, he's gonna attack you here, and then you're gonna throw a kick or a punch or whatever. And, and Austin himself, who was also a martial artist, was able to come up with ideas like, you know, the stunt coordinator might say, well, I you to throw a kick here so Austin would decide which kick he wanted to throw. Well, I'll throw this kick, it'll make him go that way and I can punch this guy over here, okay, and so it kind of found a flow. And then when it get to me, it was like, well, you're doing hip hop keto, so what do you want to do? <laughs> oh, okay, so I have my variety of kicks and punches that I can do, this is the very beginning, but I have to throw hip hop keto in there, so I need to dance and do martial arts and gymnastics. And I'm thinking, how do I make that work? So I remember the pilot. We get attacked from the putties, that's what we've seen Zordon. We're all fighting different ones. Austin takes charge, goes, well, Jason takes charge and says, Zach, you take those two. And I'm like, all right, I'm on it. Zach! Right, these two are mine. So I start walking up to them and I'm dancing in the process. Now, this was the mindset. Why am I dancing when my friends are in danger? What is that about? Well, I think about it. Well, see, Muhammad Ali, when Muhammad Ali would fight, he would go into a shuffle. Now, this was a distraction. It wasn't that he was dancing. It was kind of a show-off thing as well, but it's a distraction because now this fighter is, in his mind is going, what is this guy doing? But then while you're looking at, while he's looking at the feet, he's like, pa-pa, and he would hit him with punches. I thought, I could do that. Huh. Let's see, so if I'm entering the fight, I'm doing footwork, you look at my feet, you don't know which way I'm gonna go because rhythm and dance, it's not necessarily something you can predict where the move is gonna come from. So I was doing stuff with my feet and I'm moving from side to side, I'm catching angles and then I go in and I did my punches and my kicks and I was able to fight the putties. That was the way it had to make sense to me. I thought, okay, that I can see why I would be dancing, how I would dance is they became a thing of a distraction. As time went on, 
and we did the pilot and we went on to do the series and I had more fights, I had to come up with more creative ways to do it. Like there I had a fight in the park where I was on a park bench. I didn't know I was gonna be fighting on a park bench. It was a, it's a park bench, it's like a, it's a picnic table. There's not a lot of room on a picnic table and if I'm getting attacked in all directions by putties, what I decided to do there is I decided to be inspired by Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan did a lot of things where it wasn't necessarily that he was moving, but he was fluid in his movement about getting around and doing things. And when you're being accosted by a number of people at a time, your instincts kick in. You're like, you feel something coming from this way. So you gotta duck and move and, and see, you know, all these different things. So in this particular fight, what I did was some of my kicks had movements. My legs would kick and I would change my feet, which moved me across the table to another place, which allowed me to evade other putties that were coming in. Also not letting them know which way I was gonna go. You know, it was a distraction. And then sometimes I did spins, but the spin would turn into a punch at the end of the punch, which are all martial art techniques. So I was able to really kind of create from my experience as a martial artist and also from my dance ability being turns and spins and leaps and jumps and isolations to create hip hop keto. Later on, it progressed even more because now uh, we had a stunt team because eventually the stunt team from Japan came into Power Rangers. These guys were amazing because they've been working on the stunt show in the, the Japan version, Zoo Rangers, for years. And now they were coming and they were coming to be our stunt guys. And they had a lot to teach as well. So I was learning things from them and they were amazing stunt guys. So so they were able to hit places and be in positions at the right time and, and take, you know, take the punches and kicks. Obviously, when we're fighting, we are also pulling our punches and we're also making it for the camera. So if I'm throwing a punch and it looks like I'm hitting someone, I'm not actually hitting them. I may be hitting them from a distance of this far. It just goes across the camera. So if I do like this, they play it, you know, it like looks like I'm getting hit. Uh, or like that, that was the wrong way. <laughs> like that, so it looks like I'm getting hit. That's the, the power of the camera and stunt coordination. Later on it progressed, like I was saying, where I got much more comfortable with Hip Hop Keto and what I was doing. And I started doing more flips and more gymnastics and more athletic things was, as far as the kicks. So I started doing jumps where I would, I would run and I would do a jump split kick, kick two people one time and before I landed, throw us a third kick to kick a third putty. All very athletic, but also fluid in a way of movement that I was able to call it hip hop keto. So in the script, it wouldn't say that Zach does this and Zach does that. It just goes, Zach does hip hop keto. <laughs> so I would get there and just have to make it work. It became more of a creative thing. I have one stunt I did where I'm being chased by the putties and there's a swing set. There's a putty standing behind the swings and there's a putty chasing me. I run, I dive through the chains. I do a front flip over the putty, I land, I do a back kick, sending that putty into the swings, and I knock out two putties at the same time. Now that was an incredible cool stunt. Now, it wasn't seen very well, because like a lot of people will see it and probably not realize that I actually dived through the chains and did a front flip, and then landed in enough time to kick the putty and make him go into the swings. That was another aspect of hip hop keto. It, was, it, was, it became a, an athletic ability to do creative and complicated things, things that included time and precision. I think uh, one of my biggest challenges in creating Hip Hop Keto was the episode where I had to teach a bunch of kids how to do Hip Hop Keto. Because it's one thing to do to get on camera and start doing the things that I'm capable of doing. It's another thing to take that and teach somebody else uh, at a lower level of ability how to do it. I had to break something down, figure out what could I teach these kids that they might be able to do? And I came up with a, a triple kick where I, and it was came from a dance move. It came from a hip hop move where you kind of like shuffle your feet or whatever, where I did a shuffle with both legs and I put my, my left leg behind my right leg and then I jumped up and kicked with the leg that was forward. So looking at it, it's not easy to do. It's not, it looks like, how did he do that? But once I broke it down for the kids, some of them were actually able to create it and recreate what I did and some of them weren't. But um, given time, I think all of them would have learned it and uh, it was fun to do that. And then of course, <laughs> that led me to do my kata, my hip hop keto kata, which I had to create. Basically what I did was I took a kata 
pattern that I'd done before, knowing that, like, imagining that I was fighting different opponents and, and having blocks and kicks and punches and, and different directions and, and training, like that whole thing. And I put that into a kata and I did jump splits and I did flips and I did rolls, I did body rolls, I did, you know, all those things. That classic body roll that you know from the opening credits of Power Rangers. That's from that hip hop keto kata. So this is the way hip hop keto was created. I think perhaps what we'll do another time is maybe we'll show you guys some hip hop keto and see what you can do with it. Maybe you might be able to do some hip hop keto too. Hip hop keto, let's go. It's your boy Walter Jones. Hope you enjoyed the day. Hope you enjoyed the speech. Hope you enjoyed the show. There's gonna be more coming. We'll see you soon. Are we, are we filming or are we waiting? Oh, oh sorry, okay. I'm ready. Got all that on camera. This is my script. <laughs> I'm gonna read this right now. This Hello, is too. Ranger! <laughs> Hello. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this full length free video. Free. Free. Now, who's free? You, you know what you're really gonna like? <laughs> it's a free sign collectible giveaway from us to add to your Power Rangers collection. Hey! Uh, it says yeah. that right here. It says right here. Now here's here's my part. It's my part. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right. So I only do giveaways we, that are requested. We, we, we only do. We. I'm yes. sorry, man. Okay. I'm sorry, man. Okay. okay. It's like Goose and Top Gun. What are we? All right, so we only do giveaways yeah. that are requested by you fans and are designed to be a great addition to your shelf. Can you tell we had no time to prep for this? No time. I'm excited to yeah. do this, and all you need to do to enter for a chance to win this free signed collectible giveaway is click the link below. Click, Easy. enter your name, Easy. enter, enter name. your email, Easy. and it will be almost Power Ranger more phenomenal, instantaneous superpower. You will get a return email stating, you have been entered to win. Wow. That was, I, yeah. do was I have that too much? Was that too much? And it'll keep you updated on who wins. I, I, Which is also very important. <laughs> it's important. It says that on the Very, well. very important. Okay, and not only did that, in addition to this giveaway, you'll get chances at future giveaways Ooh. from these two freaks. That's us. Hey, that hey, is hey. Mr. Freaks to you. <laughs> and what is a signed giveaway, you may ask? I'm not going to tell you. All you have to do is click the link. Click, click the link, and it'll ah. tell you all about it. It's a hint, link click thing. Hint. Hint. Yes, right, right, right. Hint. Now, now, did you all like this video? I you mean, should, I did. You gotta let us know. I, yeah, well, I mean, because like Well, let like us it. know by clicking the like button below and commenting down below and with your favorite part is. And don't forget to uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Hit, did you already say this? I think she already said this. Really? No, okay. Well, hit the I notification bell part. and yeah. never miss what we upload a new video. <laughs> <laughs> don't, no time to prepare. Don't yeah. miss out, man. Don't miss out. Because Much love and uh, we, will, we will see you on the next insane video we yes. have no time yeah. to prepare for. Hope you have a more phenomenal day. Oh hey! What? You know what? She doesn't. She doesn't know how to do the thing. Oh, the, what the oh, thing? The thing. What's the thing? I don't know how to do the thing. Right hand, right hand down. What is this? Okay. Left hand on top. Right. Three. And it's, it's from your stomach. <laughs> from your stomach. Ready? Ready? No, don't Wait, throw it out. Don't throw it out. Say it's morphin' time. Okay. One, two, three. It's morphin' time. So good. That's it. That was it. She just did the thing. She did. That's so easy. I thought it was more. Wait, wait. You guys do a so twirl first. Do it again? It's not a twirl. This isn't Cub Scouts or no. But there's a twirl. Are oh, you talking about this? Yes. But that's that, there's also. Oh, but that's oh sorry. <laughs> that's and then we're actually doing it. But right now oh. we're just doing this. That's George, we gotta start simple yeah. with the thing. Then we'll get to the next more complicated thing. Oh. Oh. See, see, that's what happens when you get too excited while you're doing the thing. Wow. Oh. Oh. To everything. Wow. Oh. Okay. You're getting good at it. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm done. All right. It's hot. Woo! We're <laughs> gonna have to sweat. Anyway. Deep Bartoli in the house. What were we talking about? I don't know. I think oh, you like the video. Time. Yeah, we like the video.